Hello, in the front of me is a Hearts of Lot 503 CWD. Uh, first come out back in uh, it's about a decade, more than a decade. And uh, the, the digital back is uh, first generation. First generation, this has uh, 16 megapixel a square sensor and uh, the problem for this one for the back is has uh, a fungus uh, to develop it after if you let the uh, if you let the back hooked up to uh, the camera and let it sit for in certain time and eventually the fungus are uh, going to uh, develop on the surface uh, on the back on the back uh, of the IR filter surface right between uh, the sensor and uh, the IR filter I did send it back to um, manufacturer uh, for replacement as cost somewhere around five hundred dollar it's about four or five years ago and now I do have a second time because I'm not a, a professional photographer I do for a living so I very much just for uh, enthusiast uh, user so I saw uh, you uh, um, I did pull the trigger to reboot, to remove the IR filter by myself uh, last couple days ago and uh, before I remove the filter I have uh, have been looking on House of Black website for there's the other way I uh, easier for me to uh, to send uh, the digital back uh, back to uh, manufacture for service replacement on my IR filter. However, it's not easy way to uh, to find a link on a, on the Hasblock website. So uh, I just decide, hey, just put the trigger. And I did it. <laughs> and here is a the filter you can see where I remove it. Uh, and uh, if you look at closely, you may see there's some. Sire fungus on 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 the surface. Can you see? Can you see that? See that? Yeah. I after remove it, I try to clean or even sterilize with a UVC light, and or even I clean with soap, and it doesn't help. So I think I have to uh, see I reboot by myself, but yeah, of course, uh, there's no longer warranty on it. And I know it, since uh, I own the back more than 10 years, so there's uh, no more warranty anyway. And, um, and they do some research online to to looking for at the market uh, supplier who sell uh, a, um, the IR filter and that uh, custom cut to size or even the thickness and you'll be able to uh, to find it online And this uh, the back 
actually remove. Let's see. You can see the sensor without IR filter. Very much the tool I use is just this tool right here, a flat screwdriver. And uh, before I uh, remove them, having look very careful to see uh, any way be able to remove it. And uh, I try to remove the screw, this four corner screw right here. But look like that's not the right way. So I put it back. And uh, I look closely to here, one, two, three, and four corners. And I don't see any uh, any uh, screw to uh, hold it down. And I look, oh, the way they design look like this is a uh, snap ring. And it does. This is a square snap ring which is uh, hold it down, hold a IR filter down in place and uh, and I think uh, uh, manufacturer, designer, they they just, uh, the way they design is to uh, to put a IR filter in the front of uh, the sensor to cut uh, the IR spectrum, infrared spectrum um, before they get into the sensor. That's all the job is uh, dedicated to. And the sensor actually the, the fungus develop uh, on the back surface of uh, IR filter and probably uh, probably is not seal it not did, did a good job to seal all moisture I don't think that's how they designed them in the first place so it didn't do a good job to seal all moisture my other camera like uh, Nikon I let it sit for years before I take them out and I have no problem with fungus uh, build up uh, or develop uh, on uh, the sensor or even uh, IR filter I don't see any of that except uh, the one I own right here, Hotspot the back remove